My name is Paul Roundtree and I'm a director with Projects RH in Sydney. Today I've been asked to speak about introductions. What is critical in our process is we give our clients a warm introduction to potential investors. In preparing for the introduction, we need to manage the client's image. This management of their image includes their image on the internet. What we do is we work with our team members to provide them the best image on LinkedIn, and Facebook, and particularly on their own websites. We have professional teams which will also produce videos. Having produced our normal set of documents, which are critical in the investment decision process, we have to introduce our clients to potential investors. Our mantra is, we link clients with money. And our clients are projects and their founders and directors. I am reminded of David Thomas's analogy of three cups of tea. In most of the world, about six sevenths of it, investment decisions are made on relationship basis. To have a relationship, you need to have met with people and talked to them. Three cups of tea is the first we meet and greet and decide we like each other and can work together. At the second cup of tea, we start to build a relationship. We talk about football, international events, our families. And at the third cup of tea, we start to talk about life and relationships. And if you're fortunate, at the end of the third cup of tea, senior member of the delegation invites you for a walk and you may or may not start to talk about business. However, by that point, you know that the information you have provided has been analysed and the client or investor is wanting to work with you. So what is our process? Yes, we do produce financial models, information memorandum, slide packs, and a one-page executive summary. But what is critical is we work with our client, their board, founder, and their marketing people if they have them, to ensure they have an integrated team. Where their team lacks something, we go to our relationship database and ensure that they have those people available to make their presentations and management group complete. Having prepared our documents, we give warm introductions. This means that we already know the party that we're going to. Our reach is global. In some sectors, we truly are in global markets. In others, we will find markets at home. What's important is we are culturally sensitive. We work with our clients so that they also can share from our benefit of understanding international markets. 20 he will be remembered for the era of the Zoom conference. Actually for Australians, it's quite advantageous we can have virtual meetings and virtual cups of tea around the world. So Hong Kong and Singapore are only two hours behind. India is four and a half hours behind. We can manage our day so that we have early mornings with the United States and afternoons or early evenings with Europe. What we need to understand is where the centres of investment are and ensure that our clients are presented in those centres. We present them so that they are seen to be authentic and genuine. People remarkably still deal with people. You can have all the numbers in the world, but what is important is that the investor believes that the parties they deal with can deliver what they say they deliver. This is the reason you need a warm introduction. That is from someone who already knows the other party and that can bridge that gap of faith or misunderstanding. Someone that can take the telephone call after the meeting and clarify matters. 
Introductions are very important if you want to get the right investor to invest in your company. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your attention. I think today we have shown the importance of a warm introduction and we look forward to seeing you in future presentations. I'm Paul Raftree from Projects RH based in Sydney.